In today's video, we'll take a look at how we can create a horizontal accordion using Elementor's native widgets with no additional plugins. Hi, my name is David. A couple of days ago on the Web Squadron Facebook group, I saw a question asking how to create a horizontal accordion in Elementor like the one in the picture. So I decided to take a look at it and see what I could come up with. Imran has already provided a nice solution and I will link to it in the description below. But I will be using a different method to achieve the horizontal accordion. So let's dive right in. So here we are on our Elementor edit screen. We will be using the native accordion widget. So let's go ahead and drop in our accordion widget into the blank section. Next we will add in our items. So I am just going to duplicate it. The items then I'll rename them and we'll see you back soon now that we've added all our items and renamed them let's get rid of the icons then come over to style title and set the padding to zero we'll be using custom CSS to adjust everything for the rest of the video we'll be using custom CSS so let's head over to advanced and if you have Elementor free you will need to add a class name but if you have Elementor Pro you can skip this step and just use selector in place of the class name you put here. In my case I'm going to be using a class name of DD Accordion double hyphen H. Now let's go over to the custom CSS. If you're using Elementor free you want to go over to your appearance and additional CSS and putting the CSS there or use a code snippets plugin like WP code box or code snippets pro. The first set of CSS we'll be adding will be to target the structure. Currently you can see they are stacked vertically but we want them to be stacked horizontally and one way to get it easily is using the flex model. So we'll just come over here put in the class name we set at the beginning and target the element accordion and throw a display of flex on it. Now by default display flex the direction is row so that's why we can get this row layout which is what we are interested in. The next we can see that the title and the content is still stacked vertically but we want it to also be stacked horizontally. We can easily do that using the display of flex as well on the items. So we we'll put the class name again and put dot Elementor accordion item and finally throw in a display of flex and you see now it's switched to the row orientation and that's what we want. Next let's adjust the title as you can see from the example it's in the vertical orientation so let's come over and make it vertical. Add in the class name again and target the title. and give it a writing mode of vertical yep it's in the right direction now but you can see it's squished together so let's give it some spacing so we, all we do is come over and say uh, mean width of let's give it about 2.5m then we want to center it we just say display a flex justify content center align items center that's a very easy way to center your content using display flex now let's just give it a mean height to allow for some breathing room so let's go and say mean height of probably 24m. Now as you can see from the example it's looking into shape. So now the next stage is onto the styling. From here you can see each item has a different color. So let's do that. I'm just going to show the 
first item and then we can use the same principle for the rest of the the titles so we just come over here and say so we're targeting each item the nth of type so we'll start with one then within that we want to target the the title so and we'll give it a background color of whatever we want so let's say for now we're just going to give it some random color if we want we can also throw in a color which will affect the title for example let's give it a white color see it affects the title but if we want to affect all the titles at once we can just come over to style title then color and give it whatever color we want if we say black it's already black if we say white then they will all be white but now because the background is also white that's why we can see it but for, for this example i'm just not going to use this and we just continue with what we have and we can see now the layout is complete we have the background color if you want to do for the second one all we have to do is come over copy paste it in and change the one to two and there we have it so we can give it another color let's see rather than We just give it like maybe 60 and see it's a different color and that's how we can do for the rest of them and now you see we have a horizontally aligned accordion but if you notice that when switching between the items there's this weird glitch to get rid of that we just use this custom css once we paste this in, that's it. It's gone. Now everything flows smoothly. The final step will be to add in your content, which you can do by yourself. You can use either a template or type in, type in your content directly into the WYSIWYG editor. Yeah, that's it for now. If you have any question or any comment, Please do feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Please also like the video, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.